that the United States government and the United Nations are on the verge of invading Syria under the pretense of a humanitarian intervention. While Assad is definitely a tyrant, of the United States invasion of the country is a worst-case scenario for the people living there. Many details of last week's chemical weapons attack remain a mystery, but there are a few very suspicious clues pointing to a false flag attack. ANI and Yahoo News reported that the Obama administration gave green signal to a chemical weapons attack plan in Syria that could be blamed on President Bashar al-Assad's regime and in turn, spur international military action in the devastated country, leaked documents have shown. A new report that contains an email exchange between two senior officials at British-based contractor Britam Defense showed a scheme approved by Washington. As per the scheme Qatar would fund rebel forces in Syria to use chemical weapons, one adding to the evidence, on August 23rd, Russia Today published an article titled Materials Implicating Syrian Govt in Chemical Attack Prepared Before Incident Russia. According to Russian Foreign Ministry spokesman Alexander Lukashevich, we are getting more new evidence that this criminal act was of a provocative nature. In particular, there are reports circulating on the Internet in particular that the materials of the incident and accusations against government troops have been posted for several hours before the so-called attack. Thus, it was a pre-planned action. Two, as the world has become smaller with global communication it has been more and more difficult for governments to justify war. Most of the average people on the planet don't want war, so now these invasions are being sold to the general population as humanitarian interventions. Like any head of state Assad is definitely a tyrant and has been killing people by the thousands for years, but invading the people that he has enslaved will do nothing but cause more death and destruction, just as it has in similar cases throughout the Middle East and Africa. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.